And now, boys. You know from the song that Britney Spears is the troubadour of boys of all kind. So you wonder, who are the dream men in her life right now? Well, see if you can guess which photo she keeps in a solitary picture frame in her living room. I know which one you're talking about. I'm embarrassed. I have it here. I have it here. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> the crush continues. Yes, the crush continues. We shouldn't show that. I'm embarrassed. Okay, that's my it's little great. thing. It's a secret. Inside? She's still a fan. So who are the dream guys now? Still Brad? Yes, definitely Brad. And, um, I don't ben? know. Ben Affleck, he's cute. And, um, I think Colin Farrell's really cute, too. I think it's refreshing that he doesn't care what people think about him, and he says whatever's on his mind. Are you still friends with him? Um... I mean, we talk every once in a while, but he's very busy right now. Yeah, because I followed the kissing and the tabloids and the, are they together or no were they just out for a minute and... oh no we're not together. i'm single right now completely single so something about the way you say that completely single it feels it's a good thing i mean of course you get lonely sometimes but i like i need to i like being by myself right now i think it's good for me but Bardo, y'all give me a group hug okay in some ways, she's like a laboratory experiment in the insulating power of relentless fame. Remember, no high school or college life to practice dating. No anonymity for trial and error and embarrassing choices. After the feral frenzy, what she's called a regrettable near fling. With Fred Durst of Lip Biscuit, who raced to the airways to boast. She's trying to play me out a little bit because she's Britney Spears. But it's an embarrassment that she slept with you? I mean, what are you, a bad person? <laughs> you said recently, I'm not doing so good with relationships. No, I'm not. It's hard for me to let people in sometimes. Yeah. And she always seems to be paying for her teenage comments. You're right, Brittany. You're left. We get an interview with her. See what I go through? That she was going to stay a virgin until marriage. I would like to be able to try and make time. And that she didn't even drink. In the past year, a report that she had tried serious drugs at a club. We asked, starting with marijuana. I've been around people and I've gotten the high off of it. And that is enough for me. I cannot, I can't do that i don't do that you talked about experimenting partying cocaine no i never they left the impression that uh, clubs that you tried cocaine. i've experimented in in partying but never that i could never do something like that i mean i definitely in this industry there's people that do that around you 24 7 so you know you just have to learn who you hang out with and i mean I, i've I've had amaretta sours, and if I'm going to drink, and I'm, I love red wine right now. Red wine, it makes me, like, really mellow, and I like, but as far as, I'm such a control freak. I would never be able to do, feel, do something that makes me feel out of, I mean, drinking makes me feel that way sometimes, so I can't. And maybe she has another kind of adolescent rebellion. <laughs> London, insulting fans by showing up late to her movie premiere, no autographs, barely saying hello. In Mexico City, four months later, a finger for the paparazzi. And then, five songs into her concert, the last night of her world tour, she walked off stage in front of 50,000 fans. It was raining, and she says it was dangerous. We're going to go out there, and we're going to do um, the first two songs, or whatever, like, if it starts to clear up. But if it starts raining again, and if it's bad, then I'll just stop in the middle of the show. And indeed, a documentary shows she and her tour manager are agonizing over what to do backstage. It's all irrelevant. With it coming down right there, nobody's going on. But out front, the crowd turned and started yelling, fraud, fraud. And it all happens as she's starring as a kind of villain in the tabloid accounts of supposed jealous arguments and then a horrible breakup with her self-proclaimed first love, Justin Timberlake. You've had a rough year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This 
spasm of publicity about what happened in from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, oh, weird. Hello. Um, oh my goodness, hello. Ew, strong Brittany. Um, yeah, it was a weird time. Ew, I'm in the first, can we? The breakup with Justin. Did he sell her out on a music video? Britney's side of the single. He's left the impression that that you weren't faithful, that you betrayed the relationship. When Primetime returns.